Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. Spring is sprunging, the birds are chirping, the ice is melting, mostly because of global warming, but I am going to ignore the impending doom that awaits us and focus on making whole clothes for the springtime, I am so happy the miserable winter is finally leaving the building. So in this video, I'm going to be transforming some cami tops I thrifted a while back. I got this particular one for a dollar and we're going to turn her into the most stylish hoe top you have ever seen. So first things first is I drew a straight line along the top and got rid of the excess fabric. She was all up in my business instead of focusing on her failing marriage and she needed to go. And then next, I'm just marking three centimeters from the very top and I did this all the way throughout the entire length of the top and I'm going to draw a straight line to join the points together this is going to be my long strap she was three centimeters thick and I cut her out I was going to divide this into two to make a really long strap because you need this to go around your shoulders you need it to thread through your entire top so you do need quite a bit of strap length so I divided it into two by marking one and a half centimeters that was half of my three centimeters so you can half yours or you can just cut out two one and a half centimeter strips it's totally up to you so I draw a straight line to join all the points and this is a bit of a struggle bus this strap was really thin the chalk was misbehaving and giving me problems but we got there and I cut this into two and now I had two really skinny straps that I was going to join together to make one long strap so now I'm just cutting them along the side to open them up if we're going to be friends they have to be upfront and honest with me and then I decide Decide if I'm okay with being their friend you do not have to accept everything people throw at you okay so now I have two straps we're going to join them together to form one long strap and here comes the fabric glue I am putting this on the right side of my strap and joining the right sides together okay right sides together so a lot of people ask me is fabric glue durable can you wash this and the answer is hell yes just make sure you follow the instructions on your fabric glue and you will be good to go so while that is drying I'm going to mark four inches from the bottom of my remaining top would we call this a top let's just go with that and I'm going to join the two points using a straight line and this is because we're going to cut everything up and make it expose as much skin as possible so now I'm going to mark the midpoint of my top it was seven and a quarter inches and then I'm going to mark half an inch on each side of the midpoint and draw a straight line down and and this is to make the top more holicious. So if you don't want to expose so much cleavage, just draw your straight line along the midpoint. You don't need to cut off excess fabric. The whole life isn't for everyone, so I totally respect that. So now I'm going to cut along the four inch mark we drew, the four inch line rather, and I'm separating these two bits of top because we need them separated and then we'll join them together later on. Honestly, what's the point? I do not know, but this is where we're at, okay? So just go with it. So now I'm cutting along the two lines to remove that middle bit of fabric. And of course, this is going to leave some space. It's going to give you more cleavage don't act like common sense isn't a thing so if you don't want this bit of cleavage just cut along the midpoint do not remove excessive fabric so here is the top and now we're going to work on the top bit get rid of the bottom bit you can burn it for all I care just leave it no you need it so please make sure you keep it so now we're going to hem the top edge and this is super easy to do you're just going to apply your fabric glue and fold in your fabric make sure she's laying flat and you will repeat Repeat this literally until the day you die you will be here for such a long time the fabric glue will get in your hair in your skin in your nails she will be in your bed and you did not ask for that so be ready to be intimate with this fabric glue because she is going to be all up in your business so if you have any skeletons in your closet make sure she knows about them because honey you guys are about to get real close so since the side seams were bulky I put my scissors on top of the fabric just to help the fabric glue dry properly and continued hemming the top I just place some glue along the top edge and then fold in that fabric once and press it down and you're going to do this for as long as you need to so apply some glue along the edge 
fold in the fabric and press it down. That's literally all you need to do. So once you've done this along the entire top edge, it should be looking nice and neat. And don't worry about fabric glue, it dries clear. So after an hour, this is what my top looks like. And you can barely see the glue. The seams are still drying, but they will have time later on. So we can move on to the next step. So now with the fabric the right side up, I am marking half an inch from the bottom. And this is going to be a guide for me to draw a straight line and join the bottom piece to the top piece. So I draw a straight line joining all the points and I know what you're thinking, what's the point of all of this? Honestly, what's the point of life? Why are we even asking this question? So just get along with it and do what you need to do. So now we're going to join the bottom bit to the top bit along that line. What was the point of separating the two pieces in the first place? We do want to have the cutout effect under the boob, which is why we're only joining this along the backside. So just get with the system. I promise you this will look cute. So what you saw me do was I applied fabric glue along that line and I'm now joining the pieces right sides together. So the right sides are kissing and the wrong side of the fabric is facing you. I hope you're not confused. I promise you this is so simple to do that even your baby conceived during quarantine could do it. It's literally that simple. So I just made sure everyone was in line and then I'm going to leave this to dry for an hour or two. Maybe I had a margarita in between. That is none of your business. But here are the two pieces joined together and they're giving what they're supposed to give. So now I'm applying fabric glue along that edge and this is basically the excess seam allowance after joining the two pieces together and you're doing this just to make sure everything is nice and neat so I just applied fabric glue along the edge and I'm pressing it down and you will literally repeat this on all four sides it will make sense if it doesn't make sense once you do this I promise you it's just gonna fall into place so you can see me applying fabric glue along that edge and just pressing her down making sure she's comfortable she's a beautiful queen and she deserves luxury honey so i'm making sure she is comfortable and she is blessed and she is beautiful so you're going to repeat this on the other side and once everything is done this is what they look like it's yet to dry hence why it's still white so just give it a second we are finessing it okay she's not arrived at the party yet there's some traffic and she needs some time to get there okay give her a moment so now I'm applying some fabric glue along the side and we're now creating a casing. So it's literally the same process, just glue down the edge, but make sure you're leaving enough space for a string to pass through. You do not want to glue this down and then there's not enough space for your string because you will literally want to cry. So just make sure the space is wide enough. I'd say mine is about half an inch wide and that was enough because the string was very thin. So I repeated this with the bottom piece as well and this basically took no time at all once she was down and in place I repeated this on the other side and now you have casings that are beautiful and ready to accommodate your string so here is a piece you can see all the casings are done the glue is yet to dry don't worry about that honey we're about to let it dry but I'm just showing you the casings and now you're going to leave this to dry for at least two hours if you do not leave this to dry for two hours I will do a tell-all with Oprah and expose you and we all know how that goes so make sure you leave this to dry and give it sufficient time so here's a piece all dry you can see the glue is now clear and now it's time to thread our top and make her look gorgeous and whole so I am stretching the string and this is to just make sure it rolls up and that she looks good I want her to look better than I do in the morning when I have a zoom meeting and my camera is off I want one of us to be trying so now I'm just going to use a safety pin and thread my top you're going to start on whichever side but start from the top and I just use my safety pin to guide my thread through this is literally so easy you could do it with a glass of margarita in one hand and no one is going to ask you anything and you're now going to thread the opposite side make sure you cross the strings because if you don't the top will be gaping wide open and yes we're all about the whole life but we like to keep some things to ourselves so we want our top to not be gaping so what I did is I transferred the safety pin to the other end of my thread and I'm going to repeat the same
same process on the other side. I am going to thread this side. You can see I'm starting from the top and slowly guiding my string through the casing. This took no time whatsoever. Once a safety pin comes out, I am going to pull on that string with all my energy and then I'm going to thread the opposite side. So make sure you crisscross the strings. Just trust me on this, it will be a better look and you will love this top. So once the safety pin is done, she can safely retire and now I'm going to tie a knot along the bottom of both strings and this is to just give it a finished look and she looks cute and once that's done, all you have to do is tie a knot and your top is now ready to wear. You can wear this to Trader Joe's and you're gonna look cute when you're in line for your frozen mac and cheese. Oh honey, everyone's gonna be looking at you for all the right reasons. So here is the top on. This is not for the faint hearted. I know it's a lot of boobs, but I like my boobs and I do not mind having them on display. What else is warm weather for if not to be a hoe? I am kidding. The only thing that's seeing this top is my TV as I binge watch the seventh episode of Criminal Minds. Anyway, now that we've done this top, it's time to do a second one. You thought we were only making one top? You are in for a surprise we're about to make two hoe tops so now we're going to transform this gorgeous blue cami tell me this color does not scream spring i love this color but she's a bit too boring for me so we're about to zhuzh her up so all i'm going to do is i'm going to fold my spaghetti top in half i'm going to make sure everyone is on the same page we don't want relationships where people are not agreeing on anything because that is not a relationship repeat it with me you're not supposed to argue about everything that is not a relationship so now taking a bikini top I'm just tracing out the cup and you can use anything you love the fit of maybe a bra but I thought the triangle shape was something I was going for hence why I'm using a bikini top that looks like this so once the shape was traced out the bikini top had to go she had to leave the premises she was literally out of here I did not want to see her ever again so now we're going to cut out that shape remember we're cutting through four layers of fabric so you're going to end up with four pieces and they're going to form the top bit of your top so I took my sweet time with this I literally had nowhere to be let me not lie because if I rush to do this I will just spend the time I saved binge watching something I'm literally so unproductive so I took my sweet time cut out my four pieces and here they are they're not the same size but let's not focus on that let's focus on the positive that no one will notice okay so once I four pieces are cute I am going to measure one and a half centimeters so here I wish I'd gone a bit thicker with my strap I wish she had more meat because the one and a half centimeters just ended up being too thin and she was digging into my flesh and I felt like I was in the walking dead and I did not like this so just make sure your strap is a bit thicker I'd say three centimeters and I cut her out and this is what she looked like I opened her up along both sides because we need two straps and I'm going to stretch this strap into oblivion. Stretching makes the strap longer and in the other fabric it made the strap roll up but in this one she just looked kind of weird but I was going to work with her because I'd come this far I wasn't going to quit now. So now I'm going to put a dollop just a hair of glue along the top and I'm going to glue the strap in place and in case you're wondering the cup is the right side up at this point so we're gluing on the right side. So I carefully applied my fabric fabric glue along one edge and we're doing this so that we can glue the cups right sides together and this will just shut them forever and they're not going to be asking questions glue gets everywhere when you're doing this so just be mentally prepared for that and I was here for a hot minute you'd think my life depended on it I literally glued this pieces together like this Timmy was gonna hit right after like I wanted this to look cute so that when I pick up that stimulus check honey I look good okay so I made sure this was really popping and I repeated this on the other side the reason I did both sides separately is because when you glue the entire thing glue just gets everywhere and it's so messy and it's so hard to do so I just found it easier to glue one edge and then move on to the second edge honestly it just makes your life easier there's no need to complicate life and make it difficult it's already as difficult as it can be so let's just make it easy on ourselves okay so once the glue had gotten everywhere and I cried a bit I did the other piece and now you have two pieces that are going to cover both of your booby calls if you have five booby calls feel free 
need to make five of them okay so when those two pieces are drying we're going to cut off the bottom of our remaining piece I just wanted to get rid of that bulkiness because it wouldn't fit in with her top so I got rid of her she was exiled okay didn't need to see her face anymore and now I'm cutting this piece into two so I totally eyeballed this once I had two pieces I was good to go were they even I was going to find out they were not so bear with me so now I'm opening them up on the side getting rid of the tag she had no business being here I did not want to see her or her son ever again so I got rid of her and once the two pieces were opened up here they are and it's time to just join this whole thing together so at this point the bra cups were dry they'd been drying for about three hours and I flipped them the right side out I made sure to finesse this made sure everyone was following the rules and I made sure to flatten her out and that way she was cute and ready to provide a solution to this tuck boat and now I'm going to repeat this with the other piece that way we have two cute pieces to cover your booby holes so since the bottom was uneven for some odd reason I got rid of the excess fabric and once she was at the door we had two pieces that looked cute and were now ready to cover your booby holes so now we are going to make this into a top on that strip of fabric we cut out I'm marking two inches on either side don't worry it will all make sense and then I'm applying glue to my bra cup and this is going to help me attach the bra cup to the strip of fabric so this was trial and error this didn't quite work out as effectively as I wanted it to it was very messy glue got everywhere and I had to find another way to do this but it worked in the meantime so I just made sure the base of my cup was really sticking to that strip of fabric and on the other side I tried a different method if it's broke fix it so I decided to glue the strip of fabric instead I turned her around I was talking to her nice and it actually worked much better than the first method so I glued the base of the cup onto that strip of fabric and once I turned her the right way up we're now going to bring in the second strip of fabric so that we can join these two together so I am going to use a ton of glue if you're running out of glue now is the time to order some more okay you're going to use so much glue you might actually see glue in your dreams at this point so at this point the strips of the fabric are right sides kissing so this is the wrong side up please please make sure the fabrics are the right sides kissing and all I'm doing is I'm applying as much glue as I possibly can along that top edge and I'm just gluing the second strip of fabric onto that first strip and sandwiching the cups in between so this is super important make sure that this is so secure that it cannot budge it's not going to snitch on you it's not going to tell your ancestors anything it's going to be as quiet as a chair mouse and she will keep all your secrets because you need this to really come through for you so I was here for a hot minute just gluing and crying gluing and crying I did film this at 3 a.m. so that tells you a lot about my mental state right now but I got it done and that's on productivity so just glue your heart away and at this point I realized one of my strips was shorter so I had to literally redo the last bit so I unglued everything and luckily Luckily the glue hadn't dried at this point so I just took off the bra cup if I was doing this a couple of hours after if this glue is set I would not have been able to undo this so I just marked two inches and re-glued everything because my life is pointless at this point and all I do is glue shit okay so yeah this was really emotional for me just gluing the cups and making sure they're in the right place and then I took out some more glue and pasted more glue glue onto the cup this can tell you how much glue I use I literally want to cry thinking about it it's too much it's much more glue than anyone should be exposed to in their life so once I'd finished gluing that top edge you thought we were done uh-uh the top edge looks cute but now it's time to do the bottom edge and before I did that I made sure to tuck in the cups you want them to be out of sight just like your past mistakes that you pretend don't exist so we're going to tuck in those cups no one needs to know the skeletons in our closet 
closet yet and once they're nice and tucked away I am now going to glue that bottom edge shut so I flipped this around because it was easier for me to do and easier for you to see everything I do is for you guys okay so I am going to glue down that entire strip of fabric and make sure you don't glue along the cup you don't want to have glue on your cup it's not going to look super cute so you want this to seem at least professional so just do your best so I was here gluing my heart away and I did this for a really long time I would say approximately an hour to glue all of this mostly because I was cleaning the glue off my hands and crying and it's just a mixture of emotions when glue is involved so yeah and I'm going to leave this to dry for two hours at least I think I left it for five hours because I got caught up binge watching Netflix and here is a piece and we're now ready to flip her the right side out so you're just going to turn this within itself at this point it should be super easy make sure everything is completely dry you don't want to turn this the right side out and you have gaping holes in your project we don't make our clothes to look like we don't actually have money for clothes we make our clothes so that we can save money for uber eats okay so make sure this looks cute and there's no gaping holes in your project and here she is looking cute you're going to make sure you flatten her zhuzh her up make her camera ready and make sure she looks good so once i'd fought with this fabric for a hot minute and she decided to cooperate here's what she looks like and i'm now bringing out the binder ring so this is literally the binder ring you use on books and files i'm going to use it in my top because i can do whatever the hell i want so i'm going to stuff all that fabric into that tiny binder ring i feel like there's an innuendo there but i'm just going to let it go so i put some fabric glue on the inside and the fabric is a wrong side up you're gluing this onto the wrong side you don't want the inside of your binder ring to be outside does that make sense you don't want this mess to be on the outside of your top so make sure you're gluing this onto the wrong side of your fabric so I turned this around made sure that the top was forming a complete circle the fabric wasn't twisted and misbehaving and once I was happy with her I am going to stuff all of it into the binder ring and then glue it onto the other side so it's going to look cute this is what gives your top that o-ring look and it looks really really cute so I was here struggling for a hot minute she was calling me out on things I hadn't done and I had to put her in her place and once we'd agreed on things and settled the friendship I just glued her in place and I really made sure to press her down and this is going to need a second to dry so make sure you're not wearing this the minute it comes off the fabric glue okay you need to give this some time so I let this dry for an hour actually I think maybe two hours and here is the final look this top is banging you can't tell me nothing I love this Stop. I think it's super cute I'm going to be wearing this once the panorama is over you're going to catch me in this stop at the front of the line to get into the club when I'm 80 okay that is the mood I'm going for and this stop gives exactly that so I really hope you guys enjoyed making this two halter tops with me I have to admit I wasn't a halter top kind of gal before but after this video I think they're really flattering and they're really cute and really sexy and it's definitely a vibe I can work with with. so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you've got any DIY ideas you want to see me try on this channel kindly let me know you can comment them down below or send me a DM on Instagram and I'll be sure to check them out until next time stay safe and see you soon bye